Okay, what is the most likely diagnosis? Epididymitis, hydrocele, orchitis, torsion, and varicocele. Um, so yeah, general urinary question. 16-year-old um, boy presents to emergency department with sudden onset of severe left testicular pain that started four hours ago, has nausea and vomiting. His testicle is swollen, tender, and has a high riding position. The cremesteric reflex is absent. So this is pretty classic for a torsion. I mean, sudden pain, um, absence of cremesteric uh, reflex, high riding prostate. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, good. Yeah, it, it gives you, you know, this clinical picture is pretty cut and dry. Um, but we'll kind of talk about the other ones since the other ones they do like asking, right? Um, Epidemiomitis, um, they do like asking this question based off of age. Do you know kind of the, the separation of um, um, what organisms can cause epididymitis? Do you remember that? Um, yeah, I know like the STIs can cause it, like Neisseria, um, Chlamydia. Mm hmm like e. Coli, e. coli can cause it as well. Good, good. So it's, it's very similar to uh, prostatitis, right? Very similar organisms. They usually have like a cutoff, like age of males um, that get this. Do you remember the age cutoff by any chance? Because they sometimes like asking this. Um, no, I do not. You can look this up. I think it's, it's around 30 years of age. Anyone less than 30, um, higher likelihood of which one? E. coli or STDs? You said over 30? Under. Under, uh, under 30 is most likely STI. Yeah. So you want to remember that because they'll sometimes say, oh, you know, um, you know, a male comes in, you know, 25 year old um, has, you know, testicular pain, cream asteric reflux is fine, has some fever, um, you know, localized pain in kind of the um, testicular sac. What is it? And then it's going to be epididymitis, right? And then they're going to ask you which which of the following organisms is most likely here. And based on age, you have to pick between like E. coli versus, let's say, chlamydia, right? And so um, age is important there. Hydrocele, um, let's talk about hydrocele again. What is a hydrocele? Yeah, you just have like a fluid filled. Yep. This is vaginalis yep. or whatever. Yeah. So what is a um, what is a physical exam finding that's going to be um, very key for a hydrocele? I know you have the the trans elimination bingo that's going to be kind of your key thing here right it's a benign thing fluid filled sac kind of in the um, testicular sac so it's going to be trans illuminate orchitis you know um what do you think um orchitis usually gets tested with i'm not sure so like mumps right yeah. And so pediatric patient that has testicular pain, um, swelling of the parotid glands, fever, things like that, right, can get orchitis. So I'm just trying to, you know, I know you, you work through this perfectly, but kind of um, getting you in a clinical mindset of, I always say, if you can think to yourself, like when you think about diagnosis or things like that, the associations, that's going to get you the most points because then there's nothing they can ask you where you're like, oh, you know. Uh, I don't know the associated orchitis, right? Because orchitis is so rare. So you have to ask yourself, oh, what can they really test it with? You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. And then varicocele, right? You know, um, most people know varicocele is, you know, bag of worms, things like that. So that's going to be your physical exam.